Hello dear students welcome to part 2 session of chapter 3rd fiber to fabric dear students please recall along with me what you we have learned in the part 1 we have learned about wool why wool was necessary for the animal and what animals are yielding wool so we have learned about different animals that yields wool uh, for example sheep goat llama alpaca camel and yak so these animals were yielding us wool so today we purely uh, talk about sheep because india is the largest producer of uh, wool from sheep so today we will learn about sheep and its rearing and breeding so listen here rearing and breeding of sheep what is the meaning of rearing rearing means it is act of raising young for obtaining wool what is the meaning of rearing is yes, rearing means uh, giving shelter for the animal and providing food for the animal so that the animal grow well okay this is called rearing so uh, it is something like rearing of animals it may be your cattle like sheep goat cow we all rear it uh, by providing it shelter, food, okay, and we make sure that it is free from uh, diseases. Uh, we provide it a safe environment, isn't it? And we re rear it for our use. It may be to obtain milk or meat, or when it comes to sheep, uh, what is the need of rearing the sheep? To get wool, especially to get wool. So, the act of raising young for obtaining wool is called rearing. Uh, sheep are reared and then their hair is cut and processed into wool. So sheep, we are rearing the sheep uh, and we have to keep in our mind that if we, if we rear sheep in a proper manner, if we uh, um, provide it a good amount of food, good uh, um, hygienic condition or healthy food, our sheep grow well and it will produce good wool, good amount of wool. For example, our hair, think about our hair which is on our head. So if we eat proper diet, protein food or any other essential vitamins and minerals, so our hair grows well and that is how even, okay, for the growth of hair, we need good food. In the same way, your sheep, if you want to take wool from the sheep, you have to give it food, good food. You have to protect your sheep uh, from diseases, from all severe, uh, severe climatic conditions. Okay, So that is how we have to rear the sheep. And sheep are reared in many parts of our country like Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttaranchal, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, Haryana, Punjab, Rajasthan, Gujarat, etc. See, you will we'll come to know that there are so many states in our country where sheep are reared. That means that rearing of sheep is, uh, it is, a, uh, it is widely accepted in all parts of India. The next word is breeding. What is this breeding? See, students, breeding means uh, if we there are so many types of breeds. There are so many means there are so many sheep, types of sheep. Okay, in the sheep it's sheep itself, there are so many varieties of sheep. How in dogs we know there are so many varieties of dogs, isn't it? In the same way, in the sheep also there are so many varieties of sheep, and some sheep will uh, yield good amount of wool. Okay, so some sheep, sheep will yield a good quality wool and that's why we like those sheep. Okay, so every farmer need a good amount of yield. Okay, everyone, every rarer need a good amount of wool. If the wool quality is less, then he won't get a good amount of price. So, uh, he needs good price and that's why he wants sheep of good wool. So what we are doing, you know, we are selecting the parents. We will select male and female sheep, we will select uh, male sheep which is having good quality wool and female sheep which is having good quality wool. We select both this male and female and we are allowing them to produce their offspring. Offspring means young ones. So if male and female uh, of good quality wool 
produce its offspring or young ones obviously the the offspring or the young one will have good quality wool okay damn sure it is uh, that is what uh, i hope you understood about this okay uh, for example if father uh, for example it is please understand this if father is uh, who, about a human being i am telling the father is fair and mother is fair obviously the child will be fair okay so that that is how that is how in the sheep also we are selecting the parent if you select the parent and allow them to breed breed means produce young ones then it is called selective breeding that is called breeding understood so in most of the animals we are doing the same thing okay most of the animals by, by whatever it is it may be a cattle buffalo cow whatever it is uh, we are selecting the pair okay we are selecting it may be a scientist or rare earths will select the parents and produce the offspring and why they do this is because they want the offspring or the young one of the animal which is having their desired character their desired character uh, for example have you heard about jersey cow okay the jersey cow is so fat okay it is so huge and also it produce more amount of milk compared to our local variety local variety of cow in the same way this what is this jersey cow then it is a uh, it is produced by breeding okay in the same way uh, in the sheep also we are selecting the parents and allowing them to breed to produce the offspring of our desired character so our, what is our desired character in sheep we want good quality wool so we are rearing the sheep uh, parent sheep of good variety wool and we are getting the young ones of good variety that is what we are learning is breeding the production of offspring some breeds of sheep have thick hair on their body which yield good quality wool in large quantity they are selectively bred to get sheep of good breed that's why good variety sheep is are bred to uh, to get a good quality wool so here are here this is uh, the pic which i took from your test book uh, in india can you see the name of the breed that is lohi rampur pusher nali bakarwal marwari and patanwadi these are the breeds breed means what which the human beings have uh, selectively bred okay these are the breed which is found in india and they are having the good quality see they are they are having different different types of quality of wool according to the need they have bred the sheep for example lohi it is having good quality wool and where it is found it is found in rajasthan and punjab rampa rampur busher it is having brown fleece it is have found in uttar pradesh and nali is used for carpet wool rajasthan haryana like this these are the some uh, some names of the breed uh, which are found in different states of our country and the wool of which is used for different different purpose and now how how the rearer rearer means who will rear the sheep how do they rear the sheep see here sheep are herbivores and prefer grass and leaves so rearer also feed them on a mixture of pulses corn jowar oil cakes and minerals so you have to take utmost care of your sheep so if it eats healthy food it remains healthy so the rearer will be providing it good amount of food okay so these are all the food which are given to the sheep to be healthy and produce good good wool in winter sheep are kept indoors and fed on leaves grain and dry fodder so in winter the sheep are not allowed to go outside so because of the harsh climate and they are kept indoor indoor means they are inside the shed what they are what uh, the place where they are uh, provided they will be inside the shelter and they will be fed okay the rearer has to feed the sheep with good amount of leaves grain and dry fodder fodder means food for animals food of animals is called fodder so okay so uh, that is how they will maintain the health of the sheep once the reared sheep have developed a thick growth of hair hair is cut off for getting wool once the sheep has 
grown a uh, okay they have developed a thick growth of hair then it will be taken to remove its wool and also you have to remember that the removal of wool will be done in summer season not in winter season in winter season the hair should be there around its body for protection but in summer season it will be okay for it if it if we are removing the fleece understood or a hair so today we will study about how how the processing of fibers into wool how we are uh, removing these fibers and making it into wool the first step is shearing okay i repeat it is called the first step is called shearing what is shearing the fleece of the sheep along with the thin layer of skin is removed from its body this process is called shearing okay so very important uh, easy to remember what is shearing the fleece of the sheep along with the thin layer of skin is removed from the body this is called shearing okay so uh, you you may feel that uh, whether this uh, shearing will harm or okay it will, will it cause any pain for the animal no it won't cause any pain for the animal because i already told that this shearing will be done only in the summer season okay um, uh, that is why it doesn't cause any uh, disease or cold okay so it is very comfortable if you are removing the fleece in the summer season so it is happy and also while removing the fleece it doesn't harm or cause pain to the animal it is same like how your father remove shave his beard understood that it doesn't cause any uh, pain okay so it is done by uh, proper uh, shearing machine so can you see premises of shearing how the sheep are sheared see and can have seen i have shown this the, this uh, uh, shearing uh, machine same like uh, your uh, same something uh, similar to the shearing machine okay so it doesn't cause any pain for the animal the first step was shearing now coming to the second step that is scoring understood what is scoring the sheared skin so the sheared skin with the hair so we already sheared na no? a little uh, with uh, sheared skin with hair is thoroughly washed in tanks to remove grease dust dirt and this is called scoring scoring means washing why uh, why why washing should be done or why scoring should be done because you, you know that so you know that Uh, for example we wear clothes okay so uh, if we uh, wear the clothes for one day you know how much dirty it will be there so uh, think about wearing the clo- clothes for two or three days it is it will be very dirty isn't it the same way the animals will be doesn't have okay the outer covering the outer covering of the animal will be this fleece and these fleece will be always uh, used with the always okay it is very exposed to the soil dirt grease okay whatever impurities will be there na that is why the sheared fleece should be washed thoroughly to remove grease dust and dirt and this is called scouring so thorough acid washing even it is washed with acid also it is washed with water and also with acid and next is sorting sorting after scouring after washing that is scouring means washing sorting is done the hairy skin is sent to a factory where hair of different textures are separated or sorted so that is very important why because i already told that these animals they have two types of hairs and in yak we learned that it is having three types isn't it so in sheep there is two types what what are these types the outer coarse one okay the outer one will be very uh, thick hard coarse okay and the inner the inner fibers or the inner fleece which is near to the skin will be very soft so and small okay so that's why that sorting will be there the sorting means separating the coarse wool and the soft one see here so the hair is skin sent to a factory where hair of different textures are separated or sorted so this is very uh, tough job and you can see the people wearing mask and all and uh, 
and there is a, there was one outbreak of disease called sotos disease uh, which was caused by uh, uh, by anthrax bacteria so it was an anthrax disease uh, and it is also called a sotos disease okay the disease is this is spread uh, spread from uh, had spread from and sheep to animal to uh, the human beings anthrax disease that's why it is also called as sorters disease because it had come to these sorters sorters see a sorting of wool how they are sorting the wool next is cleaning of burrs cleaning of burrs means you can see how uh, small the burrs are burrs means what uh, there are uh, there will be some Uh, fleas which are very small which are very small for example wh- whenever we wear some woolen sweaters and all you can see some small tiny fibers that comes outside uh, come uh, that stand outside the sweaters okay they okay that they are called very small fiber they are called burrs so the small i will read see the small fluffy fibers called burrs are picked out from the hair these are same burrs which sometimes appear on your sweaters the fibers are scored again and dried this is the wool ready to be drawn into fiber see actually this is the burrs they will take it again the small fibers they are not these are uh, burrs are nothing but the fibers okay this fiber this is the fiber which we take to make the wool to make uh, stitch clothes to make fabric to make a fabric the other coarse wools and all they are used to make some other items like carpets bags okay any uh, brushes so many things are there it depends upon uh, the need so the burrs which are very small na uh, that is used to make fabric so then dyeing dyeing means applying color to the fibers the fibers can be dyed in different various colors as natural fleece of the sheep and goat is black or white so uh, we are making uh, putting color to the fibers because the natural color of the fleece will be if it is a sheep it will be white okay okay or some other colors so we have to put our desired color and that process is called dyeing and the next step is the fibers are straightened combed and rolled into yarn yes same like how we learned about cotton fibers okay so we even we are getting small burr like fibers so they are taken they are rolled into yarn and the longer fibers are made to wool for sweaters and shorter fibers are spun and woven into cloth so okay longer fibers are used to make sweaters okay Uh, and coarse fibers are used to make in some other brushes carpets and all and very small fibers are there na they are used to make clothing okay so all together uh, we will study see what we have learned once again we will repeat processing fibers in the wool and the processing of fibers in the wool is done in six steps okay the fleece of the hair is removed from the of the body along with the thin layer of the skin by using machine is called shearing that was the first step isn't it next the sheared skin with air is washed in tanks to remove grease dust and dirt this process is called scoring next the hairy skin is sent to a factory where hairs of different textures are separated this is called sorting sorting means separating of fibers depending on textures next a small fluffy fibers called burrs are separated from the hairs and again washed and dried second washing okay and dried the fibers are then dyed in different colors the fibers are then straightened combed and rolled into yarn they are then spun and woven into fabric this is how the fibers which we get from the wool is made in from 